So this morning I was going to play GeoFS, but I saw this message. GeoFS 3.9 is now live. That means that there is a new update. Thanks to the Allen Institute for AI, this version brings a new global set of satellite images. There is a new free st scenery. So if you don't know, the old GFS free scenery is horrible. And if you wanted to have a better scenery, you would have to pay 10 euros per year. But today, GFS has released a totally free scenery enhanced by, by AI. And this is free, this is completely free. As you can see, it is worse than the HD scenery, but better than the standard scenery. And the best part is that it is free. So we have better scenery for the people who don't have HD. People have wanted a better free scenery for a long time because it is very bad. But now with this, um, it is a lot better. Then we can scroll here to see how it looks like. It looks detailed, but not as much as the high definition scenery. And for the people who don't want to pay the the high definition scenery, this, this is actually very good. This is very good. Now let's see how the new scenery looks like. Here we are in the Madrid Barajas airport, and this is the old standard scenery. It looks horrible. It has very bad quality. Like, you can't see anything. You can barely see the taxiways. This is very bad. And the quality is so bad that they even have to put the runways like this. This is not part of the scenery. They just have to edit the runway here. This is the super resolution. That's how it's called. Which is made with AI. It looks more realistic. The quality isn't that good, but at least you can see something. This was made with AI. I don't know how, maybe they just took the old standard scenery and they just used AI to make it better. Yeah, you can kind of see how it's AI because the runway doesn't look very straight. And this is the high definition scenery, which you have to pay 10 euros or 10 dollars or whatever money you use, you use in your country every year to get this which is very detailed, as you can see. A lot more detailed than the free scenery, obviously. But the, I think the, the super resolution is um, good, I guess, compared to the old standard scenery, of course, which is horrible. Then I also noticed that in this part where they show a replane in GFS, I saw a new plane, which is the F-18. Yes, in this update they also made a new plane, the F-18. So I already looked at it um, earlier, but I'm gonna say to you, so uh, it has two animations. First, this animation. And the second one is the tail hook animation. This one. And now I want to see how it flies. Okay, I'm gonna go in the cockpit view. It looks great. Like every GFS official plane, which is obviously not the community contributed, which are very bad. Let's take off. Oh. Ah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get out of the cockpit view. I'm very bad at flying in the cockpit view. 
Let's see how high it can go. Oh no, what did I do? What the... Stop spinning! We should just do a normal climb. Ah, oh, we're spinning again. Okay. It's very hard to get this plane above 50,000 feet. This plane is actually very slow. It, I can barely. Uh, make it go above 600 knots now we are going at more than 600 knots because we are nose diving but yeah this nose i, I mean this pen is is very slow it is going very slow slower than i expected because it is a fighter jet so obviously i expect it to go fast but it doesn't go very fast and it doesn't go very high and it spins like this yeah, it is not very good my conclusion on this plane is that it is not good it is very slow and it and if you go too fast it might spin randomly like it just did I'm just gonna continue using the F-16 and the F-15 however there's still a couple of things I wanna test so first I wanna uh, see what the sound looks like because I haven't uh, listened to it because I had the sound muted so I'm gonna listen to it okay it looks okay Finally, it is not the same as the F-16 because um, yeah here because the because many co community contributed fighters have the F-15 sound and they are different kinds of planes, so it doesn't make sense that they have the same sound. Let's see what it looks like with full throttle. And the other thing I want to test is if this can land in a, the aircraft carrier because it has a tail hook so it must be an aircraft carrier plane so let's, let's test that. So here we are at the San Francisco International Airport and we are going to take off and head to the only aircraft carrier in GFS. hard to land at the aircraft carrier unless you have extreme headwind or you have the, the Piper car but if, even if it can land can it take off from there let's test that okay, I think we should go a little bit backwards this should be fine let's take off What the... What the hell just happened? Let me try again. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted. Uh, so yeah, it can take off but from the aircraft carrier, but 
uh, in the space cartoon land. And the final thing I noticed in this update is that when you go to location, now you have the option to spawn on a canyon. I, I like how they made canyons their own category. The Grand Canyon was already an option, but I think on landmarks, no, let's run up and landscapes. But and it was very popular, so I guess they added a whole new category with more canyons. And they even added a Star Wars on top can canyon. I guess that's where they filmed the the films. Those canyons were where they filmed those films. And I think that is everything in in this update. There's nothing else I think. Um if you have seen something else that I haven't noticed yet, uh please tell me. And uh yeah this is everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, join my Discord server, please. The link is in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.